This is probably the best way to show it here. Like, this stuff is kind of the fluid and things within the cyst, but this over here, see how the normal brain is gray on the surface and the deeper part is darker? Yeah. This is how it should look here, gray on the surface, darker gray here. You see this, all this bright here? That's swelling within the brain. So that's some, the cysts, these are the lining of the cysts that are lighting up here. Those have pushed this out of the way. And that pressure has caused swelling in your brain, which is what makes you get a seizure. Okay. Okay. So we make our opening kind of right here down on the forehead. And then we can come right there and we'll see the edge of the cyst and we don't have to go at all into your normal brain. Here we go. All right, so it has been one hour. Um, she should be getting taken back now, and the surgery should have started. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just sitting in the waiting room now, just patiently waiting. and a half into her surgery. As far as I know, everything's going well. Um, they said that they are inside her head still, but getting ready to close up. Hopefully we should hear back a good update here soon, so I'll, I'll let you know. All right, so I stepped outside for this one to get some fresh air, but uh, it's been seven and a half hours now. And uh, we got great news, she is coming out uh, everything went well they got out the uh, the bony mass or the cyst uh, whatever whatever we're gonna call it it's actually the size of a golf ball it was pretty darn big to be in your head so that explains why all the seizures were happening um, it was what they thought which is good they think it's cleaned up really well so we should see uh, her here soon so I'm excited and um, I'll keep you guys updated still so thanks for following along I am feeling as good as you can after brain surgery um, on a number of different medications that's thankfully keeping a lot of the pain at bay. My surgery was successful. They got everything out. They don't think anything is cancerous. Um, we'll find out in the next week or two. Um, I should be here for just another day or two. PT was going great this morning, so they do think I will be released and able to continue to recover at home. So I will be able to give you a full update when I'm a little bit more with it and feeling a little bit better um, over the next couple weeks. So yeah, thank you everyone for the well wishes and see you soon. So it's the day after Nicole's surgery. It was a long night last night. We were up really late, just waiting for her to come out. It took, it was like seven, seven and a half hours total, which is a long time to just be sitting in there pacing, wondering, you know, what's gonna happen next, I'm exhausted. 
what was like super scary was when the nurse came out and told us she stopped breathing. I was like, what do you mean she stopped breathing? Like, is she awake? It was, uh, it was terrifying to be honest with you. But right now it's like six something in the morning, getting ready to go see her, visit her at the hospital. She's out. Uh, I got to see her for a little bit last night, only like 30 minutes, because she was basically just sleeping the whole time. Uh, woke her up long enough just to talk to us, but uh, she was very out of it. So I'm gonna see if she even remembers me. I'm just kidding, I know she does. Um, so we're gonna make a sandwich and then going to get in the car and drive about an hour to downtown Chicago to see her and see how she's doing this morning. So I'll bring you along the way. <laughs> Since just me this morning, um, it's gonna be hard for me to, uh, well, I guess I just won't drive and talk at the same time, but uh, you know, I'm feeling very excited, very cautious, um, and very hopeful. Um, I'm excited because Nicole's feeling well. Um, she's doing great considering she just had a bony mass a huge cyst removed from her forehead uh from last night when i was speaking with her for that short time she seemed very lucid she remembered things which was nice um they said she may experience some um, short-term memory loss and so I'd, i gotta navigate that but um I'm just happy she she made it through the hardest part. Um, now she's recovering. I know she has a long road. I think they said it's gonna be six weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure that I can do everything I can for her to make this as easy for her as possible. So first things first, got my lunch. Let's head down to the hospital and check on her. So side note, um, due to COVID, it's not possible for folks to stay overnight at the hospital even if you're a direct family so not even her mom could stay um, so we have to get there early in the morning and then we have to leave by like 8 p.m every night so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna be working there while i'm with her and just uh being there for her. she's probably gonna sleep most of the day to be honest with you but we'll see how it goes so I'll touch base with you when we get to the hospital They said I could leave today, well, in a little bit from now. So they took out all of my little needles that were like my fluids and different things. They took out the tube that was coming out of my head, which was releasing that CSF pressure or liquid, which was really gross. <laughs> took off my little helmet. Um, so I'm gonna get a much needed shower in a few minutes and then they're getting together all my paperwork and my medications so I can go home and not go to Ninja Gym, apparently. So I'm gonna be resting for the next six weeks while I heal up and while we wait for the pathology to get back. So 
All is good, medical team, and everyone's been amazing. So here we go. And we're finally headed home. <laughs> All right guys, so we just got home. It has been a long day, but I'm so happy that Nicole made it. She's asleep. She's probably gonna sleep for at least all night, most likely halfway through tomorrow. That's kind of how things have been going lately. Um, she just needs a ton of sleep. She needs to rest her brain. Um, so if you could, really appreciate it. Please continue to follow her journey. It means a lot seeing you guys' comments and all your support. Uh, it's really helping her get through it. If you haven't already, Please like and subscribe uh, so that we can continue to follow our journey. It's going to be a long process for her to get back to where she was and for us to get back out there in the world. So it would mean a lot to me and I know it would mean a lot to her. So uh, appreciate it. Have a great day and we'll catch you in the next video.